Hi guys, we are entering Merdeka season and into September, which is also Hari Malaysia. So we celebrate our independence every 31st of August and we keep that Merdeka sort of unison spirit all the way throughout September because on September 16th, we celebrate Malaysia Day. So I thought of using this couple of weeks to showcase our local delicacies things that we grew up eating, things that we forgot maybe how to make from scratch. So to help me do that, I've got a friend for this particular episode that will be helping me learn something I've never made before in my life, but enjoyed eating every festive season. This friend is also a local rapper, hitting it big time, and he is none other than Kit Sante. All right, this is Kid Santi, everybody. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Welcome down to my show, dude. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, yeah, welcome. Sure. Yeah, yeah. How are you saying welcome? Vanakam. Vanakam. Vanakam, Makale. How are you? I'm here with my friend, Chef Shersen. Today, we will be actually learning how to make buruku. But there's a special twist in the middle. Wait and watch. The first thing we need to do is that we have to roast the ulunder. Alright. So the reason why we're actually roasting the ulunder is because we want to bring out the fragrance. fragrance. And also, at the same time, when we make muruku, it will make it a lot more held together. Because right. the last thing you want, a failed muruku is a muruku that breaks. Right. Yes. I'm surprised you haven't come up with a, of a, come up with a song for muruku. No, yet. but I might just start selling <laughs> after today, <laughs> bro. Right? Make sure you guys click the number below. Buy our muruku. So this is done. So now next up is uh, we are going to start blending it already. Okay. Okay, so we need only four tablespoons of this. Yeah. So now next up, we are moving forward to the rice flour. So we will want to use one cup of rice flour. So this caraway seeds go yes. in. Yes. The sesame. sesame seeds. Yes. Chili powder. Yep. Okay. And then we've got salt. Salt. Yes, perfect. Okay, so mix all, all right. this together. Yeah, just mix it well. And then we've got to start adding a spoon, melted butter. If we add too much butter, same thing, it will start to be very brittle, it will break. So basically, we have just made this. Yes, now right. we've gotten to the point where we've made this Of course, already. without the butter. Lah. Yes. For one packet, you will generally add about two tablespoons of butter. For ah, one okay. entire packet. Yeah. Okay. So once we're done mixing this up, now. Then we've got to start adding water, bit water. by bit. How much yeah. of water? I would say we should start with maybe a tablespoon and then we build up from there. Some people might add way too much water and it just becomes pasta. Lah. Agri olio, right? Pasta for you! Oh, do you look, see that? This is coming together, yep. the bowl is clean. That's exactly what it's we want. like a nice biscuit dough. How? Tell me about the consistency, how do you feel about it? It's definitely pliable. Yeah. You would definitely want to start buttering your hands. You know why? Okay. So that the dough doesn't actually stick to your fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what and we. And then you end up wasting a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, correct. Perfect. Now so this is, is where it is quite softish. Yeah. Right. Just to give you guys an idea, I don't know how else to describe it, but yes. So parchment papers now. Yeah. What do we do? Okay. Let me introduce the instrument of the muruku. All right. This is the muruku achi. Murka achi. achi. So that means this is a muruku maker in direct okay. English translation. So this is an instrument where you're going to take the dough, knead the dough into a cylindrical mold, put it inside and press it through. And how it's going to make the muruku shape, right, is through this magical metal piece which has all these different shapes. Now you can show right. yours. What does yours look like? Star. Yeah, it's a star as well, right? Star, 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 kira. Okay, so the first things first, what we've got to do is we've got to, of course, butter our hands and then we've got to grease the entire muruku achi. Alright? And this is what's traditionally used, right? Yes, this is the traditional one. This is not like the metal piece that you... That yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's what you see a lot. Okay, now what you've got to do is you've got to just start moulding it like this. Okay. Alright? Put it in, right? Start pressing it against here. Try to shape it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Yet another step. This is very, very, very intricate. So now what you do at the very end, take your fingers and you just plop it in like that. So it's just a gentle press down, yeah. right? So you start in the middle and you start swirling it around. You give like one good twist and you're good to go.
this is generally the part where I leave it up to my mother-in-law, my grandmother. So let's you gotta, actually you take it on. Step it up, my yeah. child today. <laughs> let's take it on. Head on. So all we have to do is this. We just gotta take parchment paper, right, and just drop it in like that. I see. That's perfect. So I want you to try one. All right. Okay. You see, it starts to like open up. So let's try to do uh, maybe three at a time. Carefully try to. Yep. What I was looking for is this golden brown. If you can mm. see the difference yeah. in color. Okay. Now, this is one of the good ones. Alright, let's give it a shot, bro. Here you go. Thank you. Mm. Mm. There we go! My man, that's Murku, bro. Now we cannot use all of this already. <laughs> <laughs> all right, kid. So we have two different Murukus. One was made from scratch, and we have a premix here. Okay, now yeah. we're going to try. Okay, so where do we start first? Let's uh, try. Let's try original. You know, huh? Original. Huh? Yeah. Let's give it the respect. It's Yep. Yep. This is original. You can really taste the love that comes from it. All right, I like. It's solid. But a um, little bit extra salt, a little bit more chili. Yeah. I think would really kick kick this off. Oh yo. Hey, you can taste the nuttiness from the urut, the ulunda, ulunda, yeah. the ulunda dal, and um, something you won't get like if you just blend it from or make muruku with just flour. Yep. Huh. That's the whole purpose of the sesame seed as well. Really gives you that fragrance. Mm. It's very tasty. Yeah, this is solid. Right, let's try the premix. Huh? From the color itself, it's slightly different. Like dull in color compared to this. This is yeah. a lot more. You can see the the vibrance of color. Yep. Maybe it's because of the chili powder. Yeah, probably. Mm. I actually really like the both of them. I feel I feel mm. like there is a few uh, key key things. Like yeah. this has a bit more of a better consistency when you bite into it. Probably also because we just fried it. This is more flavor. This is a better consistency to it. A better a better bite. It's really crunchy. Mmm. I I I I you know have I mean? a difference in preference. This is almost like biscuity. Yeah. It melts in your mouth a lot. Well, faster compared to this. You can go on biting and biting, and you're still having the crunch yeah. throughout the bite. Yeah. Whereas this, you bite it a couple of times, and the crunch is gone. Yeah, that's so true. So my personal preference, I, I actually prefer this. The flavor is very different. The flavor is very different. Yeah. Yeah. Although this somehow holds together, I think in the process of frying, a lot better. Yeah. A lot more prettier. A lot prettier. Yeah. Uh, but I think for me, I I I, I really like this. This one. This one. Premix. Come, slash. Premix. Ori. Come, Sophie. Come in. Funny thing is, right, is that an Indian guy and a Chinese guy decided to make Murku together and like the Malay team to try and taste <laughs> and tell us which one is better, right? I love that. One Malaysia, man. That's what Merdeka is all about. Nice. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Huge thank you to Kit Sante. Catch you guys next time. Let us know in the comment section down below if you guys have a different way of making Muruku uh, or if we both young farts have screwed up. <laughs> and uh, love y'all. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao. Right. Bye. Let us know who did better with the Muruku shapes. Bye guys. <laughs>